So things I can do in 14 seconds is brush my teeth, tie my shoelaces, probably put gel in my hair, put the kettle on, but I definitely could not put someone into a submission hold and have them tap out in 14 seconds like Ronda Rousey did. zero chance that you can do any of those things in 14 <laughs> seconds. No, probably not. Definitely not my hair thing. But Ronda Rousey, man, mm. straight going into it, like Kat Zingano was talking, it was pretty confident going into it. From my perspective, she came out and attacked the caged lion yes. at full speed, which is something that for me is a little bit ridiculous because as we know Ronda Rousey, she's at home in the chaos. She likes being involved in those uh, in those scraps if someone comes at her with full pace because she knows how to work it. She knows how to get into those positions and her armbar submission is her go-to and she right. got it within such a fast time. So, Unreal. So Katzengano was talking a lot of shit, which is great for the sport. We love anybody coming out and, and saying and talking trash. It's great. Yeah. But you walked into a fight you obviously couldn't handle because yeah. she came out flying. And one of the tweets, it's actually the second tweet uh, we have, said she came out like a lion. They said it was going to be that type of, like, that was going to be her strategy. And it obviously failed miserably. Yeah. Because within five seconds of her jumping at Ronda Rousey, I think she landed a flying knee. Yeah, Good flying for knee. you. You yeah. were, like, one of the first people to ever land a, a flying knee on Ronda Rousey. And that turned into right to the ground 14 seconds later. Yeah. If you get submitted in a UFC fight quicker than it takes to make an Instagram video, you're obviously doing it wrong. So Ronda Rousey now... Three, three KOs, or yeah. TKOs. Yeah. One minute, 30 seconds, her last three fights. That's her combined time. Yeah. I don't think it's even a question. She's the most dominant fighter in the UFC. Yeah. And now a lot of people try to make the argument that, well, women's fighters keep to the women. She might be the most dominant women's fighter. Well, there's a more dominant male fighter. I don't believe that's true. Like, no, you're not going to put Ronda Rousey in the ring with John Jones, yeah. obviously. But if there is nobody in coming within any kind of competition, and you can't even put up a fight, how are you not the most dominant fighter in your sport? And you can only put it up against who you, who, you can only compare it to who she's up against, right. and she's up against fighters in her division, and she is by far the most dominant. What I want to know about is with Kat Zingano, what was going into her camp beforehand? Because for me, if someone like Ronda Rousey, who consistently knocks people out in the early stages of the fight, submits people in the back, I yes, would, yeah. Uh, I mean, yes, yeah, so from TKO, um, I would understand, for me, is that if I was a trainer, I'd be like, keep her at a distance, try and frustrate her, try and take the fight the distance, because we haven't seen Ronda Rousey as much going the distance as what we have in the early rounds when she takes people out with her submission. Not go flying right at her and put yourself in a situation where <laughs> right. you're going to be dropped. because You've got to keep distance. Yeah, and when she got her, fair enough, you land the flying knee, but you're susceptible then to be grappling. And we know that Ronda Rousey is a superior grappler. You could have at least tested and try to stay at the distance. I mean, I would love to around, see like a 24/7. HBO always says 24/7 for their boxers. I would yeah. love to see a 24/7 A for Ronda Rousey. I know there's fight training uh, tapes out there too, but for Kat Zingano, I mean, that's a, that's months, months and months of training for it to last 14 seconds. Obviously, your strategy failed miserably, and you got to yeah. you got to work that. So I know now that Ronda Rousey uh, wants Chris Cyborg. Yeah, and that seems like the UFC is going to has to give him that fight. Who, who else are you going to throw into the octagon with her? Yeah. I, I don't know. A, a bunch of people? Maybe try and outnumber Two on one? Yeah, two on yeah, one two and see if she can handle that. In it, a would be, it really would be interesting if there was a two on one because I yeah. wonder if she could take down two. So, what do, you think, so what do you think? If you're telling Cyborg, what do you think that she needs to do to go into this fight to distance, try? Distance. Keep your distance. Yeah. If, well, you can do a st if you can stand up fight Ronda Rousey, maybe you stand a chance. But if, you're gonna get, if it's going to come down to grappling, wrestling, any kind of submission move, you're done. There's yeah. nobody better in the sport than her at least, especially in women's, possibly in the entire yeah. UFC. And one thing's for sure, don't go out flying and try to set the crowd alight by just being, like, so hyped up in the moment. You wanna, I don't know if that was her game plan or if she was just hyped up in the moment and that angry towards Ronda Rousey. You wanted talking some shit before and wanted to just end it quickly, but it just was, for me, it was a foolish decision, foolish strategy, and she paid the price. And uh, I just think it's petrifying to see someone so efficient in the sport and so talented I don't know if there's anyone who can try and compete with her in the world at least or if there is someone we want to see it we want to know what you guys think is Ronda Rousey the most dominant fighter in the UFC let us know comments below subscribe to TYT Sports from me and Jason thanks again